In today's episode, it's the fourth installment of our trailer maintenance series. We're gonna be working on this big Mamba Jamba I'm standing on here. It has 15K axles and we're gonna teach you how to properly torque and maintain the lug nuts on this beast. I'm Kiefer and this is all about trailers. Here's the trailer we're working on today. If you watch the other videos in the series so far, we're teaching you how to maintain and properly torque the lugs on different axles. People underestimate the danger there is of not doing the mundane maintenance on their trailer. So many problems can occur if you don't do these little things. The little things like when you get a new trailer, you need to make sure to torque the lug nuts after the first 10, 20, and 50 miles so they're properly seated for the long haul. After the initial 10, 20, and 50 miles, you want to add checking your lugs and torquing them properly to your pre-trip checklist. If you don't, you can end up causing a lot of damage to your trailer and possibly injuring other drivers on the road. If your lugs are loose, you can cause damage to your threads on your hub, shear a stud right off your axle, and the most dangerous situation is losing a tire in the middle of the road while you could be hauling something at 70 miles per hour. In standard maintenance and pre-trip inspections, check to see if your lugs are tight before you leave, and make sure to check them during any scheduled maintenance. The tools you'll need are simple. A torque wrench, unlike the last few videos in this series, we need one that hits at least 350 foot-pounds of torque. Secondly, we need a socket. In my case, for this 15K axle is a one and five sixteenths. Now, using an air impact gun can lead to stretching the threads or stripping the stud or even shearing it clean off like this one. This leads to more repairs than you want to get into. Also, another commonly used tool that shouldn't be used is the lug wrench from your truck. These will leave your lugs too loose as we cannot tighten the lugs to the specific specifications of torque. The best option is a standard torque wrench. This allows you to set either foot pounds or newtons depending on what the axle under your trailer calls for. This is all we need. Stay tuned and we'll tackle tightening these up once we get back from a word from our sponsor. So you need trailer parts? Why not shop online? At the Trailer Parts Outlet, you can order everything you need all in one place. Axles, kits, plans, tires, towing gear, and more. Whether you're a wholesale distributor or maintaining your own rig, they've got what you need to get you back on the road fast. Just pick what you want and order. With just a few clicks, we'll send it right to you. It's that easy. Your time is money, so just like that, you got everything you need to get your trailer roadworthy quickly and reliably. Check them out today. All right, we're back. Now let's dive into this. We have a huge torque wrench and a socket. Now we need to look at our owner's manual for what torque setting we need to set this wrench to. Your specs might be different, so consult your owner's manual or axle documentation for your specific specs. If you've never used a torque wrench before, most of them have two sets of measurements, foot-pounds and newtons. The one we're using today only has foot-pounds, so we're gonna set this to about 350 foot-pounds, and we're gonna get after this. So once again, in our owner's manual, we see that we need 325 to 350 foot-pounds of torque. After we set our wrench, we need to find out our pattern for this axle. We can also find this in our owner's manual. In our case, this is our pattern. If you don't have a diagram or instructions available, most people will start at the top, skip two, do the third one, skip another two, and do that one, and continue that pattern until all are done. We have our diagram, so that's what we will go by. We wanna find our first lug and tighten it until it clicks. That click lets us know that we've achieved the torque pressure that we need. So then we'll do the second until it clicks. The third, fourth, and so on until we've done the whole wheel. Then we move on to the other three wheels. Once we're done with those, we pack up our bags, we get our tools put up, and we start hauling again. Maintenance and making sure you are safe to drive isn't hard, and it's very important. If you like this video and want to see more trailer maintenance videos on this channel, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and as always, feel free to smash that subscribe button. It lets us know we're doing a good job, and we'll see you in the next one.